today is going to be a super exciting video because today is going to be a collab with my friend Lindsay over at Nerdy Girl Makeup. I've been watching her forever and the thing that I love the most about her channel is that our collections are so different. She reviews so many different palettes that I didn't even know existed. She always gets the newest like hot topic ones and the ones that are like themed after different things and they're all so cool. I watched her palette collection the other day and it's just, it's it's amazing. You guys need to go check it out. So if you don't know who Lindsay is, like I said, she reviews a lot of very unique different palettes and she mostly focuses on eye makeup just like myself because that is the most fun part of makeup. Am I right? If you guys have not already checked her out, I would highly recommend that you do so. So I will of course list her everywhere so you can easily find her and go check her out. So a little backstory on this video, we've kind of been talking about collabing for a while now and I don't know why we haven't really decided on a date or something to do, but we, we were chatting on Instagram, we were like, what should we do? And she kind of suggested we should do a palette bingo or something and I'm like, eh, let's do something a little bit different because, you know, palette bingos are pretty common, a lot of people do them and I was like, why don't we do a using every shade in the palette challenge and she was like, Ooh, that could be interesting. That could be a lot of fun. And so we started kind of talking back and forth about which palettes that we wanted to use and we realized that we actually don't have a lot of palettes overlapping, which was shocking because we both have so many palettes. But like I said, she usually focuses a lot more on like the unique kind of any brands that I don't really review. So it was interesting trying to find a palette that we both had that weren't just a Juvia's Place palette because obviously everybody loves Juvia's Place, but it's nice to do something with a brand that, you know, not everybody uses all the time. So the one that we ended up with was the Certified Destiny palette. If you have not already seen what this looks like, this is what it looks like. So you can see it's got what, 16 shades, 15 shades, six times three, 18 shades. <laughs> all right, so I guess we're going to be using 18 shades today. Wow, I did not realize it had that many shades. So this is going to be interesting. I have been kind of staring at this while I was getting ready to film and I still don't really have a plan for what I want to do except that I need to jam all of these on my eyeballs and I don't know how to do that. But we're going to try it anyway and I kind of want to just, I guess, get into this and try analyzing and breaking it out of this palette so that I can get an idea of what it is that I want to do here. So let me scooch over a little bit. So as you can see, this palette has four shimmers. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's the silver, it's the pink the light pink and the gold, so all of the other ones are going to be matte. So I first kind of want to figure out where I want to place these shimmers because I'm not a huge fan of having gold and silver like touch each other. I prefer them to be a little bit separated, which I mean, I guess is going to be kind of hard with this. So I kind of want to start to figure out where I want to put the shimmers and then place the mattes around that. And I'm thinking I kind of want to put the pink shimmer together with the light pink and the silver and then kind of try to put the gold by itself somehow. Not really sure how I'm going to be able to accomplish that. Yeah, really not sure about that at all. So might have to kind of scratch that. But I'm thinking, what if I put all of the pinks on my lower lash line? So I will kind of start with this in the inner part of my lower lash line and then go into this. And then maybe have the silver like in my inner corner. But then I need to have the gold on my lid, which I don't know if I like that. So I might have to just like suck it up and use the gold with the silver because I don't know if I really have any other choices. <laughs> and I also think I want to do a big wing today because it just kind of makes sense when I have the black in here because I can put the black on top of the wing. And then I'll have so much lid space to put a lot of other shadows. So what do I want to do in my crease? I feel like the most obvious thing to do is going to be to put all of the browns and the reds in my crease and then put the cool tones on my lower lash line. But since that is the obvious choice to do, I don't really want to do that because you guys know I'm a rebel and I don't like to do the obvious. So let me just think about this for a little bit and then I guess I will just surprise you when I come up with something to do and we can kind of take it from there and do it together. So I'll be back in like 10 minutes. <laughs> So I've kind of thought about this for a while and I still sort of like the idea of doing like the pink in the inner part of my eye down here. So I'm kind of thinking I want to start with my lower lash line, which is kind of weird, but I think that's what we're going to do. So I'm first going to go in with Smooch, which is the shimmery pink. And hopefully I'll be able to keep track of which shades I've used and haven't used. But let's start off with this and I'm going to put that in the inner part of my lower lash line. I'm not going to use a lot of this, just a little bit, because obviously I need room for a lot of shadows. 
and I'm using my Morphe M149 brush to pretty much place all of these shadows, at least on the lower lash line. So I'm starting off with this one and I next want to go into a pink shade and I'm going to kind of swatch them because they all look very different on the eyes than they do in a pan. But I think next I'm going to go in with Psychic, which is this pink right here. And I'm going to place that right next to the first shadow that I put down. And these are going to look pretty similar. I also probably could have layered these two on top of each other, but I don't want to be cheating and I kind of want to make sure that all of the shadows are going to be shown when the look is done. So next up I'm going to go into Remedy, which is this purple kind of, what do I call this, magenta shade I guess. And I'm going to put that like in the middle of my lower lash line. And I'm sure a lot of these are going to kind of blend together, but I feel like there's not a whole lot I can do about that. So I think what I want to do next is I want to go into the blue shadow called Warped and then I want to finish it off with Mystic. So I'm going to first take the blue shadow, put that right next to where I put the previous magenta shade and then on the outer part of my lower lash line I'm going to go in with the purple. Because at first I was going to use the blue on my lid together with the greens but then since I have a dark green and a light green it seemed very confusing to me how to transition them into each other because the blue is darker than the light green so it just didn't make any sense. So I'm going to take the blue now and I'm going to put that right here. And next I'm going in with the purple. And I'm also going to bring that up a little bit higher because I am going to go in with a big black liner. So it's okay, I just need this to be high enough up that the liner is going to cover it. Okay, so now that I have the lower lash line done, let's see where we're at now. So I've used one, two, three, four, five. Is that it? I've only used five shadows? I guess I've only used five shadows, which means that I have 13 to go. So I guess I'll figure out what I want to do on my lid now. So I'm definitely going to use the black as my wing. And then I'll probably go with the dark green as well as the light green and then the silver. Let's just start in the crease now because I kind of feel like I have an idea what I want to do. So I basically want to use all of the reds and oranges in my crease. So it's going to be this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. That's a lot of shadows. Maybe I want to take this brown and pull it down to my lid instead and then blend it into the black before going in with the brown. That could be an idea too and only use the oranges and the reds in my crease and maybe one of the browns. I don't know. Let's just start with the crease and kind of see where this goes. So I've swatched the first two like orangey kind of shades and they're very, very similar but Hex, which is this top shade, is definitely the lightest of the two. So I'm going to first go in with this one and then I'm going to tra transition into this. So I'm first taking Hex and I did switch to my Morphe E36 brush because this is a little bit bigger. I'm going to put that in the very inner part of my crease here. And so I want to make sure that I have room for about six shadows or so. I guess that's about right. I'm not really sure because clearly my math brain is just not working today. And I'm just kind of going to blend as I go because I don't feel like going back in with all of these shadows after. And I'm also going to cut my crease eventually when I get done with my crease, obviously. So I'm next going to go into Alchemy, which is the other orange shade. And I'm going to put that right next to the one that I just put down. And you can see they're a little bit different, but not a whole lot. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Firestorm and then after Firestorm I'm going to take Paranormal and then we'll go into the browns after that. So I'm first taking Firestorm and I'm placing that right next to the previous shadow that I just put down. So these three shadows are blending into each other beautifully. So I'm next going to take Paranormal. So here are the last three shades that are going in my crease. So I'm first going to take this middle shade here, which is called Sixth Sense. So I'm going to take this one and then next up we have this shadow, which is Enchant. And then I'm last going to go in with Brew. So I'm first going to take Sixth Sense and I need to make sure I have room for three shadows now, which I don't really think will be a problem. Then next up I'm going to dip into Enchant, like I said, and then I'm going to finish off with Brew. So I'm going to do those two and then we can probably go in and cut the crease. So I feel 
feel like I winged this out a little too much. I kind of wanted this to be more of a round shape. I'm gonna take a little bit of my creme brulee by uh, Wet n Wild, just a nude colored eyeshadow, and I'm just going to use that to kind of buff out the edges where I need it, especially just on the outer part here, and just try to erase a little of this. So I'm going to call this good, I think. I think it's looking, you know, as good as I'm able to get it right now. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take my liquid liner and I'm going to draw the triangle of my wing out here. If you've seen me do this before, you know what I'm talking about. If you're new here, uh, I basically just have to do this because I have hella hooded eyes and it's really hard to make a big wing otherwise. So just kind of watch and hopefully you'll see what I'm doing. So I'm first going to draw, I guess, the line of my wing and I'm making this a pretty big wing as you can see now the problem is going to be to do the same on this side because that is always the struggle so I think that's looking as even as I'm able to get it and now I'm going to draw a giant triangle up here and then meet it up with the hood of my lid Wow, this is going to be a really big wing. Oops. And I'm also going to just fill this in with the black. So pretty sure this is by far the biggest wing that I've ever done in my life and I'm kind of living for it. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to just put a little bit more of the purple just to kind of connect that with the black to make sure that it's looking even down there. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease and I'm going to cut it from the inner corner all the way out to where my wing is. So let's first go in with a little bit more of that purple now. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the cut crease and then I'll be right back. Alright, so cut crease is done. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go in with potion and I'm going to put that on the outer part of my wing just to get a better transition into the mats that I'm putting next to it. And I'm taking this on my MAC 228S brush. So I'm gonna be placing that right here. And here the leaves face is creasing because that is what it does. All right, so the wing part is looking pretty done and next up I'm gonna go in with dark side which is the dark green and then I'm gonna transition into moss then what do we have left three shimmers I think yeah I think we have three shimmers left after that so let me put down the next two greens and then I'll figure out what to do with those shimmers after So I think what I want to do, so I do have three shimmers left now. I have the silver, the gold, and the light pink. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the gold as a brow bone highlight, which I never do, but I just feel like that's going to look better. And then on the rest of my lid, I'm going to take the silver and then I'm going to take the pink and kind of meet that up with the silver and wrap it around down to my lower lash line. So I guess I'll first start off taking the silver. And I'm just going to put that in the rest of my open cut crease based here. And I feel like the silver is going to go really nice with the greens. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out now. So let's go in with Magician now, which is the light pink. And I'm just going to put that right in my tear duct. Also just layering it over the pink just very slightly. And then hopefully this won't mess up the look too much because I never do a brow bone highlight, but I'm gonna take tonic and I'm just going to slightly put that right under my brow. And I am very much hoping that this is not going to be super pigmented. Mm -hmm. 
that's not too bad. I mean, you can still see it slightly and that's definitely all I wanted. I just needed somewhere to put this shadow. So I guess this is going to be it. Now, the only thing I'm not super happy about is just how it's looking right out here, but I don't know if I can do much about that. I am gonna just try to blend this a little bit more on the outer corner here and just bring this shadow down a bit more. So I think I'm just going to keep it like this. And I was thinking I was gonna have to do some kind of a glitter line in my crease or something, but I feel like I don't need to do that. Like I feel like the cut crease line is looking pretty nice and clean. So I'm going to just keep it like this, I think, and then I'm gonna do some liner and mascara and I will be right back. So this is going to be the completed look and honestly I'm so happy with how this turned out. I, it's a little scary, you know, when I sit down to film one of these videos, despite having filmed a lot of like using every shadow in the palette videos before, knowing that I'm about to sit down and put 18 shades on my eyes is kind of scary. So, you know, when something ends up looking okay, it's always like a nice plus because you're not really expecting it. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. So in my waterline, I use Cry Baby by ColourPop, which is just a very lilac liner. And on my lips, I have Oh Snap by ColourPop. I know I've been wearing this the whole video, but thought I would just mention it. So yeah, everything else on my face will be listed down below in the description box if you want to know anything else. And now that you are done with this video, I think you should jump over to Lindsay's video and check her out if you haven't already. If you are here from Lindsay's channel, I really appreciate you checking me out and I hope you enjoyed this video at least a little bit. So yeah, that will sum up today's video. Thank you so much to Lindsay for collabing with me. I absolutely love you and adore you so much and I can't wait to do this again sometime. And if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.